He tried to ground himself in familiar weather patterns and by seeking the eye contact of strangers. Perhaps most uniquely, he liked to act like he was always being filmed. The stakes seemed lower if a camera were observing. All of his usual failures just became art. Even if he did nothing but observed, his observing morphed into a character trait, a reflection that wouldn't typically exist in the presence of no one. He was allowed to process his surroundings in whichever way he pleased. Certain people preferred company while adventuring. He understood the desire, as the longer he was alone, the more easily a sudden, unveiled thought could disrupt his mood. But the people were so distracting, especially the ones he liked. He envisioned that by the final day of his trip, he would feel terribly lonesome. He had no qualms with that. It would benefit his writing, which he believed was the reason he was there. Several of his peers loved to criticize the tortured artist's mentality, claiming it was dangerous and damaging and other things, probably. But he knew, ultimately, that they didn't know shit. Neither did he, sure. Yet, he'd experienced the catharsis of creating something following a period of deep melancholy many times, and knew to trust such feelings. The pattern was not unrelated to his inborn casual manic tendencies, which he understood to be an asset. Regardless, he was running into a major problem. Pretty much nothing of significance had happened to him, which was beginning to feel like a requirement for his line of work. He hadn't experienced loss, not really. Heartbreak was a kind of loss, but it hadn't been violent enough to upset his perception of the world. And he wanted to make art more than anything. Well, like top three things. There was that fairly attractive young woman at that cafe earlier who briefly glanced in his general direction, whom he wanted very badly. But frankly, what's artsier than attaching far too much gravity to the inadvertent actions of strangers? He found the familiar uninspiring, opting for long walks and people watching to knock something loose. He was feeling more open than religious, too tired to be resolute. Church was a reminder of three separate funerals, the only times he'd been in the setting amidst a sense of community. Today, he was far removed from that collective yearning, instead self-pitying since he could not long for anything severely at the moment. It was discouraging to not be overwhelmed by any particular emotion. Of course, he'd write this all down, and that was soothing. It was also preferable to opening up Tinder, or one of the other ones, to find his inner hollowness reflected. He would explore and he would write for the rest of the trip, and he would not open Tinder. Coming to this conclusion satisfied his expectations for the day. He embraced the opportunities that the morning held, treading through his slight headache. Some sort of structure was forming around the writing. It wanted to be about itself in the most reflective sense. He tried to ignore impending thoughts of unoriginality. If he stayed true to his feelings and simply tried to sound like himself, something of value would come. Or maybe it wouldn't. That wasn't for him to know. He just had to breathe, maintain patience, and really listen inward. God, he was horny. 
He wondered if he may in fact be more productive by locking himself away in his room. Being perceived may actually be a hindrance. It's not like he was scared, obviously. He was a grown man, after. Oh. Oh, fuck. His final day before his flight home felt like October, which it was. Did he feel the deep alienation that he had predicted? The loneliness certainly had pooled up since his arrival. The writing still brought comfort, but he could only get a short paragraph deep before scrutinizing the utility of it. He hadn't thought he cared about whether his work reached an audience, as it provided comfort for him regardless. But the more he wrote, the more he realized that this perceived comfort stemmed from an assumption that his writing would result in some sort of connection. But the more he wrote, the more he acknowledged his desire to be heard. He didn't love this truth, and it was definitely not original. Today was his last day of writing, he decided at the start of his trip. Whatever he was left with, he'd have to mold and stretch into something he could stand by. For now, he just had to keep pushing forward. He concluded his writing day at what had become his favorite thinking spot, a quiet, trustworthy zone removed from the city. He would get lost watching the waves. Each day, the current had a different temperament, carrying enough personality to fool him out of his loneliness. This ending didn't feel much like an ending. That was okay, if this piece really aimed to reflect his experience. He found that endings were rare, and later events were always contradicting the finality of them. To fuse them so tightly to neighboring moments in time that it all just became one thing. Dear stranger, I discovered this notebook while doing some wandering. Is it a violation for me to write in this? Too late, I guess. I was flipping through and read the disjointed thing that was most recently written in here. I found it very annoying. The writer clearly has no concern for the reader, and it's such a self-absorbed piece I had trouble finishing it. With hopes that the writer comes back to collect this notebook, I've written my own requested suggestions for the next draft. I get that the thing is he's over-reflective. However, he needs to interact more with his environment. 
he barely acknowledges anything around him. I'd love some sort of description of his surroundings simply to get him out of his head. Give us some context, physically, you know? My other main problem is, the writer seems more concerned with originality than authenticity. I guess it's kind of tied to the other complaint. It's like he's using art as an excuse to experience, but he doesn't need an excuse. My favorite art makes me feel present. I like the shit with waves, that rocked. I don't wear that. Give us a break from the way he manhandles the narrative. And let us soak in some of the life around it. It'll make it easier to get lost in the story. Also, I thought the being filmed thread that was introduced at the beginning had potential. I was disappointed it never came back. Ha <laughs> ha. 